welcome. There's Primo. That's right. He's making his rounds. What are you going to harvest, Primo, huh? Welcome back to the greenhouse. Episode 11 of the greenhouse garden update. Today is Tuesday, December 8th, and I've just put my growing solution into the reservoir of the tower garden. Today's the day I'm going to put my plants, seedlings, into the tower. I just installed a new pump. They're about $24. Typically, every year I, I get a new one and I save the old one as a backup. They do fail from time to time, so this kind of helps ensure that I'll have trouble-free growing. Now, i got to get the base on. So at this point, I've got to screw this into the bottom. And you're not going to be able to see it, but in the very center of the tower there's a hole that's threaded and I'm just screwing the blue hose on that pump right into it now there we go uh oh my hose just broke it just cracked let me go in the shed and grab another one I'll be right back all right take two let me unscrew this other one Hey, you gotta have supplies, things go wrong. All right, I thought when I installed it on the new pump, it sounded a little brittle. I didn't pay much attention to it because I was busy trying to set the camera up. Now, what I'll do is I'll order probably two more of those just to make sure that I have them. You see, this one looks a little bit better, not quite as old. Probably from one of my newer towers. So they just screw right in. They do have a little O-ring. And I'm going to try and be careful here. By the way, these filter, these pumps, they have filters. You should clean them out once a week. At a minimum, once a month. Alright, let me get a little bit better angle here. So I don't stress this out as much. Alright, we'll try that. Make it a little bit easier. All right, once I get this installed, and I'll make sure of my pump, it has suction cups on the bottom. I'll make sure that it's properly seated on the bottom of the tower. Yeah, we'll go ahead and put it on. See, it's laying on its side. Okay, here we go. Let me go ahead and I like to make sure my access plate is right there. Okay. Now, I've got the pump plugged directly into an outlet, just to make sure it... Uh, i got another problem here. I've got a ground plug stuck in this. I've got to fix this. I'll be back again. Alright, I'm back. i tell you what, I'm putting some mileage on today. I'm getting thirsty. First things first. I gotta stay hydrated. What do we got here? Nice vanilla porter. All right. Jeez. All right. You know, when you're busy farming, you gotta make sure you stay hydrated. All right. Salute and chin chin, my friends. Oh yeah, that's good. All right. Pliers. Yes, I did unplug it. There we go. All right. Let's try this again. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> <clears throat>
Well, that's a good sign. So, the water's bubbling right here. You want to try and ensure you get your tower level. If it's a little bit out of level, you could have where the water that gravity feeds down, uh, you might have a, a dry cell, so to speak. <clears throat> All right. Now, these pumps are adjustable. I'm okay. I'm satisfied with the flow of water. <clears throat> now, the other day I talked about the clips. I like to use these clips. However, when I did these seedlings the other day, if you recall, I put them into these net pots and I also have some of these clay pellets. There's the roots I was talking about, right? How's that broccoli rob looking? Watch how quick this thing grows once it's in the tower. When I do the weekly update a little bit later in the week, excuse me, I'll show you the growth of the chocolate cherry tomato in the tower versus the one in the soil. Significant difference. Now, here's where it gets a little tricky if you got the clay pellets in. They're going to want to drop out. I'm trying to get my, my roots in there. This is why I'm not a big fan of the net pots. They work, but they clip in like that, okay? So we're losing a couple of these clay pellets. I'm going to try and get some back in. And again, I like to use these to help stabilize my stem, okay? So we'll do a couple of broccoli robs. I have roots growing out of the side, but nothing on the bottom yet. Okay, we'll put one here. I don't know that I'll have enough plants to completely fill up this tower. Alright, I want to get some escarole. Look at how beautiful that's looking. And we got roots coming out of the bottom there. So I'll do an escarole right here. Make sure we're getting... This one seems a little dry. I'm going to have to tighten this up a little bit, but I'm not real happy with the flow of water there. I might have to adjust my pump. They do have a variable speed. Try not to spill my clay pellets all over the place. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and plant the rest of these into the tower and I'll adjust my pump and I'll be back as we're finishing that up. Oh, that's really good. All right, let me finish this. I'll be back in a few minutes. Uh, okay. Welcome back. I have one or two slots that they're not getting watered properly. It's getting some water, but not enough. So I've avoided putting a plant in there just yet. I've got one, two, three, four, five that I did not plant. I did put a couple back over here. One, two, three, four. I'll put a couple more tomato plants in here. Just as a sneak preview, look at how tall this tomato plant's getting. It's almost at the top of the tower. You can see it's working its way up the twine for the trellis. Sneak peek over here, that is the crack key station, right? The crack key method. I peeked underneath it earlier. You're going to be surprised at what it looks like under there. I'll show you in another two days. So I think that's about it for today. It's getting hot in here. I've got to clean up a little bit. So I'll see you in about two days and we'll go ahead and do an update of what's growing on inside my birdies raised garden beds inside i'll also take take you outside for a quick tour in the meantime i i think my producer and director primo says it's time to play so i'll see you back here at the greenhouse in a couple days good 
morning. I got a lizard right here. I don't know if you can see him. Anyway, today it is Wednesday, December 9th, I believe. And uh, it's about 9.45 a.m. It's currently 45 degrees outside. So this is where I like to come first thing in the morning. Take Primo out for a walk. Well, not first thing, but early in the morning, I should say. And just soak up some of the heat. <clears throat> you know, living in uh, Zone 9B, we're used to warm weather most of the year. When it starts to get cold, even in the 40s, 50s, at least for me, I get a chill in my body. And this is the place I come <clears throat> to, uh, to kind of loosen everything up and get nice and warm again. So I just thought I'd say a quick hello. A little organic green tea. Hmm. This one has some spearmint in it. Anyway, this is why I love a greenhouse. There's nothing better. This is the place to be. In the summer, it's way too hot. Don't typically grow a lot inside it. Oh yeah, look at that. That chocolate cherry tomato. I see one, two suckers that need to be harvested. <clears throat> Speaking of suckers, Look at this. I mean, come on. What do I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven tomato plants. These are all the Roma tomatoes. Look at this plant right here. It's already got the formation of the flowers. I don't see any roots coming out of the bottom just yet. But as soon as they start to come out, we'll get them transplanted into bigger pots. So, anyway, that's all I got going on today. You can see I'm nice and clean. Primo just got a bath, actually a shower. All right, you get all dirty out in the yard. He loves to get in the dirt. I'm going to head inside in just a few minutes. I'm going to get my workout in, and probably later in the afternoon, we're going to hit... I think about 64 degrees. Stacy's got a few chores she wants me to do. I've got to paint my shed, which means I've got to prep some areas. It's already been pressure washed. I've got to do some caulking. But she's got some, uh, I don't know if they're ceramic pots out front that I need to pressure wash for her. And she wants to paint those up. So before she gets home, or right after she gets home, I'll probably work on that. I've got my banana pups. I've got one here, a few over there. <clears throat> the tower I planted out yesterday, everything looks great. Couldn't be more satisfied. My cracky method, everything's thriving. We'll come back tomorrow or Friday and we'll do our actual update. I just figured while I'm in the greenhouse for a few minutes, say a quick hello hand pollinating some of the flowers on the Roma tomato plants. I hope you guys are having a great day. We'll see you in a couple days. All right. Is wishing you all great health. Morning. Here we are. Ready to take a look at how things are growing on. Today's Friday, December 11. It's about 8.30. I think currently it's 46 out. Not quite sure what the temperature is inside the greenhouse. I probably need to put a fan on soon. The humidity is, I mean, I'm going to have, it's going to rain inside here from the condensation coming down. It's primo. He's got his jacket on. Um... Anyway, not quite sure what the temperature is inside the greenhouse, but it's warm enough where I was able to take my jacket off. In fact, I could probably take this shirt off. <clears throat> okay.
So as I talked about the other day, we're going to go ahead and take a look at how the crack key method's coming along. Two days ago, I planted out my tower garden. We'll take a look at that. We'll take a look at everything inside the birdies raised garden bed. And I'll show you my tomato suckers, my, oh, look at this, looks like we're getting new growth. My banana pups, my mulberries, fennel. So, and we'll also take a look at uh, the small trays of seeds that I planted out. I've already started pricking out the beets. I just noticed yesterday the fennel has started to come up, so we'll eventually get working on that. Anyway, let's get right into it. Let's take a look at, we'll start with the crack key station first, okay? Let's start over there. All right, how good does that look, All right? There's the broccoli rob. Remember, this was the Swiss chard that I had pulled out of my raised garden bed. There's more Swiss chard here. There's the escarole. Look at how nice. I mean, those leaves, they're really growing. <clears throat> so let's take a look at what the roots are doing below. All right. So there you go. I don't want to tilt it too much, but... Remember, these had no roots showing. I think these had very little, but every single, well, this one here, look, no roots showing just yet here, but every single one of them. Now, I did add, only because I had it, it's not necessary, but the air pump that I have when I do my compost tea I put it in here and it's going at a very low setting. If I turn it all the way up, the water's overflowing. So I did add the bubbler to it. <coughs> uh, it does help, but it's not necessary. Okay, so again, things are looking really good. Let's go ahead and take a look at the tower right next door. On to the tower garden. Wednesday, I took my seedlings. Well, I'm just amazed. Look at how strong these plants are getting. When I planted this one out on Wednesday, it was drooping over. So they really now, the Swiss chart hasn't stood up yet, but I mean, I've grown in the past. I don't know if you can see up here, but these things will get way up to here, the Swiss chart. There's the escarole. That's also doing equally as well as in the crad key. So again, crack is kind of a form of the aeroponics here, right? It's it's same food. So escarole's looking really well. well. I'm excited to get some escarole, the broccoli rob, and Swiss chard. So again, tower's looking good. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the raised garden beds over here. How's it going there, Primo? Let me sneak back here. I want to give you a comparison. There's the chocolate cherry tomato in the uh, the grow bag. It's maybe about that big. Look at the size of that same plant over here in the tower, right? Much healthier. Again, this is getting fed 24/7. Here's the potato plant. These are mulberries. Again, I brought them in here to survive the cold weather. These are the black Suriname cherries that I started from seed. This is a banana pup. The fennel's looking great. My Roma tomato, we're starting to get flowers. Let me scoot back through here. <clears throat> Here's my tomato suckers. Okay, this tray's filled, it's 12. And I gotta be careful here, I don't trust this, but on this plant, I've got flowers. Same with on this one, and this one. Uh, let's see if we have any roots yet. Yes, uh, success. Here, here, and here. So three out of the 12 already have roots coming out of the bottom. I've started another tray that has the uh, chocolate cherry tomatoes and some Roma. Just started this the other day. In here, I've got one Swiss chard, 
in one of those uh, the larger cherry tomatoes again look at the size of these broccoli rob leaves okay I've got flowers on my Roma tomatoes here okay so I'm using these uh, clips that connect to the twine to keep my plants in place and I'm also twisting it this is the broccoli rob fennel look at this mmm smells good tastes good I've got broccoli rob I'm just gonna pull this out of my mouth so I can talk uh, broccoli rob we've got carrots these are the beets I'll tell you the beets are doing really well look at this I'll pull this one out just to show you guys how nice all right again that was a direct sowed beet into the raised bed we're having one to two of these every night with our salad here's a Roma tomato plant I've been well there's no flowers opened up because well here we go there are some I've got two tomatoes already right in here I don't know if you can see that or not but Several times a day as I'm in the greenhouse, I take the liberty to go ahead and hand pollinate these tomatoes. Let me go ahead and show you what I've been calling my zucchini. It's not a zucchini. All right, I've taken the camera off of the tripod so I can get a better angle here for you. All right, so I thought I had zucchini what I forgot I did I planted two seeds these are winter squash I'm almost positive and I was going to plant them in my compost uh, I have a pile of compost I was gonna plant them in that and I forgot <laughs> there's my banana pups so I have four over here and the one over there all right let's go ahead there's another potato plant okay that's thriving uh, by the way I know we started this journey on the uh, organic compost tea next Wednesday I'll brew another batch look at this this is not this is the cilantro that I had started it's we still have seeds popping up this is the arugula remember I added the uh, mushroom compost it's not doing great it's really slow growing here now if you recall I believe two episodes ago I had planted out two of these smaller trays right when was that on 1129 hmm, Wow didn't realize it was that long ago <clears throat> and there's the fennel so the fennel just started uh, germinating maybe two days ago this is uh, the beets now I've already pricked the beets out we got 6 12 18 and this is in that growing medium right it's the peat moss vermiculite and perlite it's doing well not so good back here is the lettuce the Swiss chard and arugula arugula is doing all right uh, I think that's this is a butternut squash now again back in the three-part mixture versus what the arugula is in I planted more cilantro on November 29th look at that we're gonna be eating probably cilantro before the arugula so that's what's going on here so going forward uh, I'm going to be doing this pricking method in the three-part growing media and from here all of these beets once I see roots coming out of the bottom will get transferred into a birdies raised garden bed as well as the fennel once I start to prick that out uh oh he's sleeping again the directors fell asleep nice warm spot well, there you have it. Here's to another episode out here at the greenhouse. 
again, as I keep saying, this is the time of the year that we really cherish the greenhouse that I built from scratch, by the way. I bent the metal and uh, put the plastic on with the channel and wiggle wire. Maybe another episode I'll talk just a little bit about that. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm halfway done with painting my shed. Had a little bit of a debacle. The color I had mixed up I thought was the color of my house. In rushing to get it mixed, I gave Stacy the wrong color. So now the shed is all dark, at least half of it. And we're kind of debating whether we should stick with that color. So as soon as it warms up, I've got to finish painting the shed. I'll show you some footage of that maybe in next week's update. But Primo and I want to say thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying this journey with us. And we'll come back in a week and we'll see the power of the tower gardens. You're going to be surprised at how quickly things start to grow. Once those roots form and they could suck up or intake, ingest that growing solution, it's just superior. All right. Thank you for watching. Leave me alone. I'm busy farming. I, I've got to take this shirt off. It's already getting too hot in here. We'll see you next week, folks. Right, we're checking in on our director. He's sound asleep. Whoop, he knows we're watching. Leave me alone, I'm busy sleeping. <laughs>